What's up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C. And this particular video recap, I mean, I'm just going to keep out the way it is. Actually, is another bonus podcast. Is day 23, October the 30th, 2019. And, I mean, I'm kind of, I ain't going to lie, I'm a little tired. It's 3, you know, 3, uh, 3, 3, 22 a.m. in the morning. And I just actually finished, like, doing a recap. I'm going to love with love at the lock or whatever. Like, like I said, it's part of Tasha C. So, slash Tasha C T B because it's also part of my YouTube, my, um, my day 23 of my 365 video journey. And again, yes, I'm not showing my face. And I'm going to upload this later. But I just want to talk real quick about, you know, this, this kind of is a shock and it hurts. You know, it's a part of life, but it's the fact is, is our, you know, rest in peace, rest in heaven to John Witherspoon. I was just so shocked. I mean, you're already hearing about the Elijah Cummings. That was pretty shocking as well. Um, You know, I talked about it because, you know, it depends when I finally put the uploads up. I just did um, season two, episode 28, so I still got six more episodes to go. And not including, um, the, you know, like the new episode, depending if I do it at time. But I just wanted before I go to bed, it's like, this is a legend. I remember John Witherspoon in classics such as, um, Boomerang and the Wayne Brothers. Even him being the voice of the Boondocks. And... You know, the fact that he came from Detroit. I remember watching the Richard Parvin show and the roast. And he was saying, I don't know why there were people booing because he came from the D. There's nothing wrong coming from the D. Okay. And just remembering him from, like, my teenage years. You know, bigger kid years, basically. And even the Boondocks. And, you know, they're supposed to get, like, a Boondocks reboot. So how are they going to be able to do that? And, you know, um... It, it, it's just too sad. And then they were trying to do the Friday reboot. And this man was a living legend. I, I could have sworn. I didn't watch the video yet. Because I know John Witherspoon has a YouTube channel. He hasn't uploaded that much in years. His son. You know it's actually JT. I forgot what the race shadow Witherspoon looked at him. He also is a YouTuber. He be doing like sometimes video game videos. And all this other stuff. And it, it like I said. It, it just I did not expect this. And some people say, well, 70, 70 is a long time, but no, it's like, um, it just made me think about, like, my dad will be blessed, uh, uh, blessed by the grace of God, will be 84 next month, 84 years young, and John Singleton was with the spoon, Singleton, I mean, I'm the wrong person, but still, that was a shocker too, Governor so John Singleton passing away as well, but John Witherspoon passing away at 77. And knowing that is a love one, even though we've been broke up forever, that was one of his favorite comedians, God Richard So God Richard So Kev. <sighs> that was one of his favorite comedians. So it's it is just really it was a shocker. I don't I don't know, like even just the fact like I know this bring up but just like bring up like what sh- was shocking. One of the most shocking things even I had found out this summer about somebody passing as well. It was the same year, like I said, my my ex that I just said. Kevin who passed away, I didn't know he passed away, but he was the man who saved my life and saved the mobility of my arms. Uh, because the illness was that bad off. I you know, I found out, like I said, it was the first, I guess, skin graft in the area under the arms. Because they were taking a bunch of pictures. Oh, can they take a picture? And they were just so fascinated about it when my body accepted the you know, the mass and skin and fat, you know, under my arm and it has been there. And when I went, when I thought I might have surgery on it again, because I, after eight years later, have gotten, had an abscess, and it was a deep lesion that didn't, you know, whatever. And I showed the past the surgeon that, you know, I was basically able, you know, to get, you know, um, a, 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 you know, um, appointment with. And I showed the paper of who was the plastic surgeon, because he was a spe- birth specialist, but he was a plastic surgeon who did the, um, the skin graft surgery. They said, oh, I, he was a good man. He was real nice, which he was. Got, you know, um, he had left to go to the VA, VA hospital downtown. 
And they were like, like I said, I know if y'all they watch my series with our bring back, like living with the mess, HS, I don't do it all the time, but that's what I was going to do where you're know, like dealing with different topics and with a person who deals with chronic HS, you know, on a regular basis and learning how to, you can still live even with this mess called HS. And so uh, it turns out that he passed away and he was only in his early 60s. Um, to February 2014, and I didn't know this until, like, June or July, after I left the doctor's office, because they both, it was two plastic surgeons, like, you know, the, you know they co-own that, that, you know, that, you know, that doctor's office, and that's what happened, and I was just shocked, so it just, like, this man, memories, you know, because I didn't know until five minutes before I was about to, you know, do one of my makeup reviews for Love After Lockup, right? I got on Instagram because I follow John Witherspoon, and I think I follow his son too, JD. Like I said, because JD, like I said, has a YouTube channel stuff like that. But y'all, I was just like they either had him in a chair and he was smiling, and I thought it was just a regular thing. But I read, you know, the little paragraph, little writing, and it was like, "We're sorry to inform you that John Witherspoon." And I was like, "Huh?" You know, at first I was like, "No, no, 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 no." It was already sad, even though he's still living. Like, Dr. Dre, the legend that used to be with um, Ed Lover, if y'all remember your MTP raps, The Milestone, for example, and, you know, I don't know if it was a cult classic, but I remember seeing Who's the Man, whatever, when they did that film. But, just to let y'all know, he it, there was something on one of the Instagram, I forgot who were the ones saying that, but unfortunately, um, he is losing his sight due to diabetes. And so that was already kind of sad to hear that, didn't I? Well, unfortunately, again, a young boy, a four-year-old boy died. It was an announcement um, on my thing. And it's kind of in the metro Detroit area called Hazel Park, even not from here. And he died from complications of a pit bull mauling. Okay, that's that's a whole other topic, okay? But it just, that just hurts. I, I just, I, I never met John Williams Bull, but, I mean, it's... It, it just, I was not expecting that, you know, already, um, it's sad that my guy was so my, uh, my neighbor who had died, passed away, um, went going, going, home going, um, on December the 8th, 2012, and she was such a sweet lady, God bless you, Mrs. Phillips, and her birthday was like, you know, like October the 25th or something like that, so, it is it's just one of those times. So to like, you know, you never take life for granted. I don't know how many times to say that. And it is sometimes hard because, you know, how sometimes life is. It's easier to say than done. Like, you know, all the stress of the world. You got to worry about things from finances. If, you know, it's your friends' foes, it's your family foes. And, I can go on and on about this stuff, or like things that make you discouraged about why to keep going. And I ain't gonna lie, I mean, that'd be a whole nother subject in the future, not near future, but when I feel comfortable about it, like just dealing with some of the effects of just where I'm in sometimes just with the HS alone and how it makes me feel like even though I've got used to it, it can affect you, especially when you have like the higher layers of severe or chronic versions of it, how it affects your daily life. And you sometimes just, it just drags on because that's, you know, whatever. And that's why, you know, I want to be able to continue to make videos and bring more awareness and connect with other people and whatever is my call to do because of the impact of this illness. And you still, and I still deal with like the ignorance of some people, even if they claim they ain't a doctor's field or whatever, medical field, I meant to say medical field, whatever. I mean, they have a doctor degree. And like I said, I'll go into further, but it's just, it's ignorant sometimes some of the assholes you sometimes meet with that. But you still have to learn to keep fighting if you need to see help or whatever. Like I said, I'll go into further details. And the reason it's not why I see anything right now is, you know, I'm still like the beginning of what I'm doing. And once I get more information or more time as progress went past, I'll be comfortable to tell my story adding on to that. You know what I mean? Like, it's still just the beginning stages. And I want to be able to tell more information about my personal feeling and hope to help one person or another. But like I said, it's just that stuff like that. You just, you just, you you can't just take 
life for granted. You know, even though we're staying the same car, because yes, you know, that's what I'm saying is you don't know how long you're going to be here. And it may seem like, oh, you know, some people could be here for a long time, but sometimes, you know, like I said, it's about to be 2020 in a minute. And it's just if you just just make the most out of it, you know, be be appreciated and hug the ones who love you, vice versa. It's just I, I just I just like I said, I just feel like really my heart. It just feels so sad about him passing. And he just like lived up the spirit's life. He just was chilled. You know, he say bang, bang, and it bought us up some favorite thing. The, the song, where well, I'm a love going bang, bang, and all this other stuff, and the mushroom circle, you know, and yippity, it just, I, I, I don't know, I, I definitely didn't want to be on camera with this, because I, I probably would, not to say y'all haven't seen me cry before, but I just, I just wanted to end on that note. It just be appreciated, keep your prayers and for anything else. But it just, like I said, y'all, just appreciate life. Just hugs and love to y'all. And I definitely will see y'all in the next video. But like I said, you know, rest in peace. Condolences to this family. Condolences to anyone else who's lost someone loved on their family. Just, you know, who may be dealing and. I, like I said, I, I am not lost. I'm just lost for words. And um, I'm going to get off right now. Okay, then, everybody. God bless and take care.